Hi guys, it's Allie with Chaos Monkey, and I just wanted to introduce you to a yarn that I hadn't seen before. Um, John with, um, it's Anansa or Anasa Company, which is A-N-A-S-A, -A, and I want to say Anansa, um, which is a yarn company, a yarn distributor. And John said that he wanted to send me some yarn, so full disclosure, I did get this yarn sent to me um, without, you know, for free to review and he and John was just interested in getting the word out because he said this yarn was only available in other countries they hadn't been able to make it available in Canada or the US until now so John is stationed in Canada and he's shipping or, or trying to distribute it to Canada and the US and kinda of give us you know a heads up that this is available so he sent me three balls of this pink yarn and you have to you guys have to excuse my lighting I was trying to wait for good light but in my area it is overcast like every day it will have a little bit of sun but not enough to actually base any you know to start okay let's film it's sunny because it'll just go back to cloudy so I am brightening this up a little bit on my camera to get closer to true that's pretty close to the true color and so this is like a, I want to say like a hot pink. Um, the receipt that John said, sent me said burgundy, but when I went on the site, this actually was under a different name. So if you guys are interested in this color, I believe this was actually called fine wine or something similar to that. But uh, if you guys bear with me, I'm going to do a quick intro. I'm going to show you the yarn, and then I'm actually going to take you to the website because he has, they have a lot available besides just this. They have all kinds of stuff. They have sock yarns and kids yarns and acrylics and camel um, camel wool and all kinds of stuff that um, I just want to take you to the site. So we'll do a few minutes of me rambling and showing you and giving you my first impressions. Now I can't 100% endorse this yarn because I just, you know, I haven't used it enough and put it through its paces, but I can definitely give you my impressions and um, go from there. So so far it is, this is the classics, no, the competitive series. I'm sorry, there is also a classic series, which I believe is merino wool. This is the competitive series, which just says wool, 50% um, wool, 50% acrylic. So I'm assuming the classic series with the merino wool may be a little softer than the competitive, but again, I'm just kind of I'm spitballing there, I'm guessing. Um, but this is soft, but it's not super soft. Um, it's not rough, but I don't know how to describe it's kind of it's wooly. There's definitely wool content and you can feel it, but it's not like rustic wool. It's a very soft wool, but not quite as soft as like a high-end merino. So it is kind of the mid-range yarn. And um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and read off the label here. 273 yards, 50% um, wool, 50% acrylic. It does have the Woolmark Blend um, seal, and I will take you online to show you what that means too. It means any yarn company, a yarn company can't put this on unless they're certified through Woolmark that their wool is of a good enough quality to be certified. So if that gives you any indication, they're, they're certified, the company is certified. And let's see, for the washing instructions, this is not a super wash. It is a hand wash wool but there is other wools on the site there is um, like I said everything under the sun on the site so this is just what John sent me and so just to give you an idea on the washing instructions it does say um, hand wash do not bleach low iron but I don't think I would ever iron any of my woolies even on low um, ooh, dry clean and some solvents which I would never dry clean my wool either and then uh, don't put in the dryer is basically what these symbols mean. There is a gauge swatch. They're not showing a crochet hook, just knitting needles, but they're showing four millimeter and in a four by four inch swatch or ten by ten centimeter, it's twenty-two stitches by twenty-nine rows is usually the gauge they want you to have. So I did do some swatching just to show you guys. And the color is really pretty. The wool it feels really nice. It is about a size I'd say it's the, probably a three, and it has a nice twist. It's a little more of a ropey twist, and I believe it is a three ply, if you guys can see that. 
So it's just a three ply light war um light yarn and I want to say it's like it feels almost woolen spun. If any of your spinners know what I'm talking about where worsted spun is a little more thick and heavy and woolen has a lot more air in it. This feels a lot squish. A lot of squish to it, so it almost feels like a kind of a combination spin. So um but anyways, and this is the competitive series. And, and here is some swatching. So I did knit and I did crochet in my swatches here. I'm going to try to come down a little bit. It is a really nice pink. Um, this is angling because this is the crochet swatch. I started on a 4 millimeter, actually a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook because they wanted a 4 millimeter knitting needle. And just as a heads up, if you only see a knitting needle suggestion on a ball label, you can just use this, you know, use the same millimeter in a crochet hook and go up because you, of course you're going to get a thicker fabric in crochet than knitting, but it gives you a good starting point. So we'll start with the crochet swatch. I started with a 4.25G and then I did that for a few rows in single and double crochet and then I went into um, H here and you can already see it starting to open up and then here was an eye. So here you can see I'm actually finally starting to get some drape on the eye hook, um, which I believe H is a 5 mil, so an eye is a maybe a 5.5 or a 6 mil. can't think of it off the top of my head. But So if you were going to make anything garment-wise, depending, like a sweater, I'd go down, get a denser fabric, um, a shawl go up, you know, but I just kind of want to show you how it how it behaves. Now these swatches have been washed and blocked and you'll see how it grows from the needle size. So this side I try to keep even but you can see how the larger needle, how much bigger the stitches got. I just went whoop. And um, I did wash and block them. You can see there is wool, there's a wool fuzz, there's a little bit of a halo. And again my lighting is not cooperating. So we'll just have to do what we have to do here. Um, feels pretty nice. feels pretty nice. It softened up even more after washing. So all I did was soak it with some wool wash and just, I didn't pin it out. Well, I kind of pinned out the corners on this one because they were curling up. I just laid it flat to dry to kind of just let it do what it wanted. I did this at the 4 millimeter size 6 uh, knitting needle just to kind of give you an idea of the fabric it makes. With my gauge, I probably might want to go down uh, a needle but that's kind of ballpark of where they put their gauge swatch out. So you can see it's a really nice drapey soft and it did get really soft with the wash and there's a little bit of fuzzy halo which you're not going to be able to see because my camera is being, being finicky. So yeah, so I really liked working with it. I really like the colors. Um, you know me, I work with a lot of wool. Um, for all of you who do not work with wools, this is a wool acrylic blend, but it is a hand wash. So um, you may want to go on the site and check out maybe just the 100% acrylics or the superwash wools. Just be careful if you use a superwash wool because after washing, let me see if I can get this back in focus, um, superwash wools will grow a lot. Um, superwash means you can basically put it in the washer. I wouldn't put it in the dryer, but you can. Uh, technically you can put it on low heat in a dryer. It does tend to put a lot of wear and tear on the fabric if you do that with a superwash. Um, but uh, superwashes are treated to not felt like normal wools will, will during washing and so they do grow a lot. They're a little more slippery after they've been washed and blocked. So if you are new to wools, you may want to get a couple of different types, regular wools, some merinos, some super washes, and just try them out and see what you like. And if you're going to do a garment, I suggest you might want to watch it on a super wash, only because your garment will grow a lot after blocking and it will throw off your sizing. So, um, But there's really nothing else on the label that I need to tell you guys. Um, I really do enjoy the yarn. Um, I really want to see what else they have um, on the site. There's camel hair, there's Australian merino. I've never tried Australian merino. Um, so it's, yeah, it's pretty interesting. He is shipping out of Canada. 
So when you go to the website, all the prices are in Canadian. So keep that in mind with the currency exchange. So for um, U.S. buyers, we're going to have a 30, roughly 30% 30 difference in price. We're going to be paying 30, roughly 30% less because the American dollar is worth a different amount than the Canadian dollar. So he just wanted, John just wanted us to know that the prices listed on the site are in Canadian. So it will be different for U.S. Um, when you get ready to check out and all that, it will be adjusted to U.S. prices. So you're actually, we're actually getting like a 30-something percent discount right off the top from what's listed. And John's going to give us a 10% off coupon um, that I will link down below and show you guys. So, um, so it was really nice. So he just wants us to check out the site. Also, the site also has, um, if you order $75 or more, it's free shipping. Um, but again, if you just want to try it out, and you're not going to go there and spend $75 right off the top unless you've used those yarns before. Um, you might want to just use the 10% and check it out. So, uh, let me see what else did I want to say. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to be giving away this yarn. I actually got three balls. And I did use part of this ball for the swatches. So, I tried to make the swatches as small as possible, because, but I did want to show you guys how it looked to knit up how it looked crocheted, and um, I wanted to feel the difference after washing because a lot of wools will change after washing because you get all the manufacturing chemicals off and sometimes they plump up and they get softer and these definitely got softer than they are in the ball. They are much softer after washing. I mean it's not a super drastic difference but it's definitely, it definitely got nice and soft. So um, I'm going to take you to the website and I'm going to show you everything on the website and um, go from there. Okay guys, so we're here at the um, Anista website. And please excuse my um, sound quality. I don't have a mic. I'm just speaking to the computer, so my sound quality is not going to be as high as it should be. So just kind of bear with me. But here we are, and as you can see, free shipping on orders over 75, and then this is the yarn that um, was sent to me. This was the Pohorka yarn, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and it was under the Competitive Series. And this looks like the color that I received, which if, uh, looks like it's French wine. There's a lot of nice colors in here, and here's the burgundy. Um, so you can see there's a lot of 50% wool, 50% acrylic. There's a classical series, um, which is also 50% acrylic, but 50% merino wool, and it's a little more expensive because it's just merino. Um, I am not sure if they have any superwash um wools in the series but they do have cottons linens angoras sock yarn and then down below here there is also camel felting wools caught more cottons uh and acrylics there's 100 percent acrylic so if you guys want to in the children's series and then they also have ice yarns. So they also looks like they distribute the ice yarns as well. So that's something to consider if you don't want to go to ice yarns and spend the money on the shipping or buy 10 balls of something. You can always come over here and just try a couple of balls of something you might be interested in and then have it shipped to you from Canada instead of from Turkey because that is where um, he, this is shipping from is uh, Canada and so yeah there's also some knitting bags travel bags discos there's a lot of stuff on here if you guys just want to check it out and um, I will put my affiliate link below my video and um, also the coupon code in which is chaos c-h-a-o-s or 10% off and um, yeah, there's a lot here to check out. So um, 
Yeah, there's a lot here. I'm kind of getting distracted looking at all of it. <laughs> there's a lot of linen, a lot of cotton. Cotton flax uh, combinations in the linen. Uh, so yeah, just remember that it is um, the yarn for U.S. This, these prices are in Canadian, so the prices for the U.S. consumers will be less, 30-something 30, 30 percent less than what you see on the prices or the sales prices. Um, also remember that wool is duty-free, so there is no duty or extra fees. Um, and uh, yeah, go ahead and if you're interested, try it out. See, maybe get a couple of balls of something, or if you've used this brand before, let us know what you thought, but there seems to be a really wide variety. And once again, this was available overseas and in area other countries, but not available to US or Canada. So it would be interesting to try some of these out if you are uh, more into the wools and the higher end acrylics, things like that. And you guys, I just went to the Woolmark website just to kind of go over what that certification or symbol means on the wool band. And it's pretty much what I thought it was. It's a it's pretty much a place that licenses people to be able to use their brand and they have to meet their quality specifications in order to use their brand. So um, if you have a product in which you would like to use the Woolmark, Woolmark Blend, or Wool Blend logo, you have to get a license through them to use it. And you do have to meet their certification procedure. Um, you have to meet or exceed their requirements and all of their specifications in order to get their symbol so that you know it's good quality. So I was just curious about that, and that's what the Woolmark logo is about if you see it on any wool. Um, looks like they've been around for over 50 years. It's been applied to over 5 billion products since 1964. And it's just a way to um, just certify that you have quality, quality wool in your product. Uh, use the affiliate link to help me out. I would really appreciate it. The 10% off uh, code is C-H-A-O-S or CHAOS and I'm going to go before my dog starts barking. So I just want to thank John again for um, letting me try out this yarn and um, if you want to enter the giveaway just leave me a comment down below and I think I will probably leave it open for maybe about a week to two weeks. It's not going to be a very long giveaway but I'll put the closing date in the description. Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later.